What is up, guys? GMS here, and welcome to another episode of my Borussia Dortmund career mode. Um, I really hope you guys are enjoying this uh, series so far. I'm having a lot of fun playing this career mode, Borussia Dortmund. Um, yeah, and I really enjoy the support on my recent videos and all the views I'm getting, the likes. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, yeah, I just really appreciate all the support I'm getting from you guys, and and yeah, thanks a lot for that. And as you see, we take on Werder Bremen here out of the first out of three games in today's episode. Um, there's Werder Bremen starting lineup. Um, I don't really know too many players. The only players I really know is Yunusovic, which is pretty good. Um, but they're doing pretty well in, in the league. I mean, they're in first place right now in, in the league. So, and you see, there's my starting level with Zlatan up front. And then Royce, Bojan, Aubameyang, Bender, Castro, Durham, Ginter, Rojo, Piszczek, and Berkey and Nett. Um, I've been really disappointed lately with Ibrahimovic's uh, form lately. He's been really poor. Um, I thought he'd be a lot better, to be honest, but... Um, he's been really, really poor, really underperforming lately, and I, I I'm kind of considering trying to do a swap maybe in January. I know I said I really want to keep him for a while, but I don't know. I, I just I don't really like to. I, I don't know. I really don't like playing with him that much. Really, I, you know, I can't really create any chances with him or get any good. Like I don't know. I just don't really like him that much, and his morale is kind of low. Like his morale is um he's doubting his abilities, so also that could be affecting how he's been playing. And you see that another thing we came really close to scoring right there. Bojan came really close with the diving header, but he somehow missed the ball. I was really surprised he missed the ball. I don't know how he missed it, but and then also there I thought we won a free kick, but somehow that wasn't a free kick. He only tackled from behind, and that was it for the first half, guys. No, no, that's the first half. Uh, really slow first half, and the computers really just passed the ball around basically the whole first half, and and we really didn't get any opportunities. And as you see, the second minute here, Bojan comes in and shoots, but. He shoots it over the goal, and that was our one chance really to put us up ahead. You know, really, really big chance for us there, but we end up wasting it with Bojan. And the 81st minute here, Werder Bremen will get on, will score a goal here. It's a nice header by their Werder Bremen player. Um, I don't know what Berkey was doing. I don't know why he didn't come out and try to punch it away or catch it. And but for some reason, he just tried to make it like he dove it on the ground, like to make it. I don't know why he wouldn't just like jump and try to punch it away or make or catch it, but. Also, it was poor defending by me. I mean, I don't know how I didn't get the header on there, but... And that's how the game ended, guys. 1-0 loss to Werder Bremen. Um, as you see there, 44 possession, 56% for Werder Bremen. Um, yeah, really disappointing result. Really wanted to get a win there against Werder Bremen, you know, the first-place team. But, you know, they played really well. I mean, they passed the ball around a lot, kept possession, and... Yeah, we really didn't capitalize on our opportunities. And in the second game in today's episode, we take on Schalke here at home at the Signal Iduna Park. Um, we're really looking for, like, we're looking to bounce back here after a really poor result in the first game. And yeah, to continue what I was saying before about Zlatan, um, I'm kind of considering maybe doing a straight swap in January. Like, I know I said that I wanted to keep him for a while, you know, and but I mean, he's just been really underperforming lately. I'm really, I'm not really happy the way. I mean, he's only had he only has th two goals, I believe, or three goals with us, and. I'm not. I'm just not really happy with the way it's been playing. And yeah, maybe try to do a straight swap in January. We'll see if he if he decides to start playing a lot better. You know, start scoring more goals, and obviously we'll keep him. But I mean, if he's not going to perform to the potential he's supposed to be performing, yeah, especially for the money he's, been, he's being paid a week, um, there's no point in keeping him to be honest. And as you see here, Schalke um are the first team to score in this game. Really nice passing play, and a nice finish there by Sydney Sam. Um, Sydney Sam was was a target of mine. In the beginning of his career, I know I really like Sydney Sam in this game and in uh, past career mo uh, past FIFA. Sorry, I've liked Sydney Sam. You know, I think he's a really good player. Um, and he was actually there. Shock was dominating possession in, in the first half, and nice pass there from um, Pichek, I believe it was to Abamyang, and Abamyang runs in, but really nice save by Farman. Um, and that's how the first half would end, guys. Two shots, two on target for us. Um, not really, really good first half by us. We played pretty poorly again. But here in the 50th minute, Royce is nice job here. Nice for Ronaldo chop past a Schalke defender, and his shot gets deflected wide of the post. Um, I'm really happy with the Roy with the way Royce has been playing lately. Um, he's been playing really well. Um, I really like how he's been playing. I really like playing with him also. And yeah, and as you see here, we lose possession of the ball, and Schalke going to counter attack. Really nice pace here by Kolasinac. Sorry, and Tyson's nice little give and go with him. He passes back out wide. Kolasinac. I can't say his name. Crosses it in and Junta Lars, nice job there. Heads it in for Schalke. Puts him up 2-0. Um, we just got caught on the break. You know, I was on um, ultra attacking and we just got caught on the counter attack there. You know, four against two. And, no, I, I can't really blame Berkey there. There's no chance. A really nice header by Junta Lars. Put him up 2-0. And 
in the 68th minute, and that's how the game would end, guys. Um, another disappointing result. Um, I mean, if we really want to try to win the, I mean, I think winning the league is kind of out of the picture right now. I mean, I don't want to be negative, but like, it'll be really hard for right now. I mean, we have to really string, you know, really big amount of wins for us to get cl like up to the top spot in the league. You know, I mean, right now I'm aiming for hopefully like a Champions League finish. You know, hopefully, and um. Yeah, like, I just really hope we can at least qualify for Champions League if we can't win the league, unless we, you know, I mean, I'm going to have to make some, I mean, I'm kind of feeling I'm going to have to make some big signs in January, transfer window, um, to bring in some big names. I'm kind of looking for another, uh, maybe another right, right wing, and obviously another striker if Ibra Camp isn't, doesn't perform the way that I feel like he should be performing to, and I would like to maybe pick another center back or right, right back, um, because... Rojo's been decent, you know, because I basically brought him in since Hummels is still injured, you know. I mean, obviously, it'll be really big when Hummels um, is back for injury. As you see there, I also changed the formation. I tried to go for, like, a 4-3-2-1, and for some reason, like, the formation was messed up on the screen there. That's not, that's not how I put it, but it's supposed to be, like, a 4-3-2-1. And as we take on Hamburg here in the final game of the episode, Bojan does a nice job picking up off the mistake from the Hamburg defender and puts it a 1-0, 20th of the year. Really, really good start to the game, um... Really needed start like you know we need this is a start really needed you know really important start to the game getting up one there early on you know and a really nice shot by Bojan to intercept the ball away from the Hamburg defender and really nice finish by him too I mean I feel like maybe the Hamburg goalkeeper could have done better there but it doesn't really matter puts up one nil Bojan and that's his first goal for us also um I know it's only I know you know only his first goal but I I didn't really pick up Bojan for like you know a goal scoring kind of player. I picked him up for more like a playmaking player, you know, like a playmaker kind of player. And you saw there, Ibra's shot just goes wide of the post. In the 45th minute here, Ember crossed it in, but once again, a really nice save by Berkey. Um, I remember saying in the beginning of the season how I was going to try to sign a better goalkeeper, but recently I've been really happy the way Berkey's been playing. Um, he's been making really big saves. And you see here in the 45th minute here, right before the end of the half, Ember typed um, even up the score here with a really sloppy goal, in my opinion. The ball is just bouncing around in the box. I wasn't able to clear it, but Amberg pounced on the opportunity there, and they even up the score. And yeah, as I was saying about the players I want to sign, I really, I think we need to really sign another striker to be honest, because Ebra's not performing well enough to be honest. I mean, we need someone so we can score in constantly, and Ebra hasn't really brought that to us. You know, really constant score. I mean, Royce has been scoring constantly at Bamiang, but um, I just want to pick up like a really consistent striker. You know, that can score a lot of goals and. And yeah, I was really hoping Ebert could bring that to us, but he so far this season hasn't really been showing he could be doing that. And actually, here in the 76 minute here, um, Burke is nice shot punching the ball away, but Amber crossed it in again, and Ginter is nice shot to head the ball away and clear it away for us. And in the 80th minute here, you see we bring on Blaszczykowski for Ebra. Um, Blaszczykowski, like right off right off of the bench, he's an immediate impact to the game. He takes a shot, saved by the goalkeeper. Royce kick, volleys it. A nice goal by Royce. Puts up 2-1 in the 81st minute there. Um. Maybe the Amber goalkeeper again could have done better to save him. He just he didn't even try to dive for it. He just kind of just walked towards, it, I guess, or ran towards the ball, but he really didn't dive for it. But right off the bench, Watch the Kowski was immediate impact. And Royce puts up two one here in the second half in the eighty first minute and we're really you know, really, things are really looking good for us right now. We're really hoping to pick up a win here against Amberg, you know. And you see an eighty seven minute here, really nice chance for Amberg to get up to score there. Nice really Weird kind of cross by the Amberg defender, and the header goes just over the crossbar, and that's how the game would end, guys. Really, really big win for us. Um, really way like really big way to bounce back after those two poor uh, results in the first two games. Um, we see the the match stalt match stats or stalt stats, and yeah, that's it, guys. For this episode, end with the um, league table. Hope you guys really enjoyed. Um, please leave a like if you did. It's been GMS, guys. Peace.